Gervonta Davis, Canelo Alvarez, and Tim Zhu better be careful because they may make Turkey Alice Sheik quit boxing. As information comes out about his previous business engagements and how putting the back boxing on the back of one particular person may end up very badly again because something Gervonta Davis is doing, something Canelo is doing, and something Turkey Alashik thinks Tim Zoo is doing. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, man, we've got some new information for you. Over the last few weeks, there's been some upstart and arrogant boxers talking back to the man that is just there to save the sport for everybody. And we just found out information about Turkey Alashik from back in 2018 that may tell us exactly how big a problem Gervonta Davis and Gervonta Davis fans are, how big a problem Canelo is and Canelo Alvarez fans can be, and Tim Zhu for ruffling the feathers of the cash cow, the golden goose, Turkey Alashik. Now, before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It really does make a huge difference to the channel. But let's get into this because we cannot allow this to happen. My tongue is in my cheek for this whole video in case you think I'm serious, but I'm serious about the things that I'm saying. Turkey Alashik is a Saudi Arabian public official. He is the minister of sports and entertainment for Saudi Arabia. He runs a public investment firm uh, fund, and he's been investing very heavily in the sport of boxing. He says that he is this face of boxing, um, putting on, he wants to put on all the big fights, but he ran into some difficulty with the big names in boxing. Gervonta Davis told him, eh, not that impressed. Canelo Alvarez said, hey man, I'm busy. Try, uh, come back and talk to me later. And Tim Zhu says, hey man, I would love to work with you, but I got a team, man. You got to talk to my team. So what's the risk in that? Well, the risk is that Turkey Alashik may quit the sport and put his money back in his in his uh, public investment firm and kick rocks and leave everybody hanging because he doesn't like the way that he's being talked to. Now, why do I think that that is an option? Because he's done it before. In an article that came out in the New Arab back in 2018, there is an article that came out. It says Saudi football kingpin abandons his Egyptian club after fans chant insults. A Saudi football kingpin has announced that he will pull millions of dollars of investments out of an Egyptian club after football fans chanted insults directly at him. Turkey Al Sheik, who is one of the most powerful figures in Middle Eastern sports, announced he was pulling out of the Pyramids FC on Tuesday. Sheik has decided to permanently pull his sports investment from Pyramids and anchor the teams uh, and anchor the team's television channel said. 
external contracts will be brought for players and the Ch- pyramid channel will provide its worker and with excellent positions and their contracts will go on. He added the move comes after controversial sports minister said he was seriously considering quitting putting money into an Egyptian football over strange daily attacks. Fans of Cairo-based mega club Al-Hila chanted insults at Sheikh over the weekend during a game. Turkey Al-Sheik F him. Turkey, watch out. We're going to F your mother for you. God damn, these boys are ruthless out there. Sheik has been a divisive figure since he burst into the onto the Middle Eastern football world. The Saudi billionaire spent thirty eight million on players during the last transfer period, an all time African record. Sheik bought Egyptian league Mino Al Siati and rebranded it as Pyramids FC. Bringing in 23 new players, including four Brazilians and an Argentine coach, and moved the team to Cairo. The massive, unheard of investment in Egyptian football has, however, made Sheikh a much disliked figure among fans in this football crazy country. Fans and commentators alike have criticized the completely artificial club bought and paid for by pet golf petrol dollars and implanted into their highly traditional league. So again, Turkey Alashik invested in a football team, soccer in the United States. He spent a bunch of money, $32 million, bringing in new players, relocated the team to Cairo, And then when the fan said something to him that he didn't like, F your mama and F you and I'll F her for you. He quit. He withdrew all of his investments and he went on about his business. Now, why is this relevant to what's going on in boxing? Because if you look at the the attitude of Turkey Alashik with Canelo, that was the same attitude he had with Canelo. No, I don't want the fight. I've offered him fair. That's it. I'm out. Tim Zhu. It, Tim Zhu said, hey, man, meet with my team. I'm no longer interested in Tim Zhu because he does not do what I tell him to do. Jermonte Davis says something smart to him. Hey, man, let me get Two Ferraris since you paying everybody all this money. No, no, no. I'll send you two gloves. Fight. We're not interested. Right. Also, just the general idea that you invest your whole career in a guy that may turn around and say, hey, man, I'm I'm up out of here at any point in time because he was offended. Now, what would football be in the United States? And I'm not talking about soccer. I'm talking about the actual football oblong ball. What would it be if Jerry, if, um, uh, what's my guy's name that owns the Dallas Cowboys, man? If the owner of the Dallas Cowboys got mad and quit every single time somebody says something bad about him or Pat Riley or in, uh, anybody else, uh, you know, I- investors that are out there, you know, investing in their team. And I'm having a hard time thinking of team owners like Jerry Reinsdorf, Jerry's Reinsdorf for the Bulls, man. What in the world would he do if if he showed up? People booed him in Chicago. People booed him all the time in Chicago. Chicago. Hey, man, you got to keep on going. You got to go with the team, man. But hey, that's real dangerous business, man, to be resting your career on the likes of a guy that may may bolt on you at any time. So now at least we understand why everybody is so careful to call him your excellency and to make sure they don't say anything out of out of sort to him. Your excellency, your excellency, let me bow down. Let me put you in the Hall of Fame. Hey, Nevada State Boxing Hall of Fame, man. Anything to make you happy, please don't quit on us. That is not the safe route to go, dog, for the long term. But anyway, just wanted to share that information with you. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.